Six police dogs that help keep us safe in times of need are now getting cared for in return. This is all thanks to an 11 year old boy who donated some bulletproof vests to them. NBC4's Kenya Ramirez tells us how he made this all possible and why it's, of course, so much needed for them. Kenya. Brad Arlene, he says this started off as a GoFundMe originally, but after he went above his donation goal, he wanted to make this more permanent, and it's why he got him to launch Brady's Canine Fund. Easy. Easy. Oh, good boys. It all started at the age of eight for Brady. He really wanted um, to give back to the police canines when he found out that um, they, their departments typically run on donation. And with that, um, he found that they don't automatically get ballistic vests. Once he learned each vest is around $1,200, he wanted to help. Now, three years later, his goal is to give more canine vests to those who reach out. I find myself that I'm protecting all the canines and knowing that they're safe. His mother tells me Brady is quiet and reserved, but the impact he's making is speaking volumes to the type of person he is. He does not like attention. He does not like even um, being in the spotlight for what he does. That's so Today, the Whitehall Police Department and the Pickaway County yeah. Sheriff's Office got their best too and thanked him in person. Now to have someone come to us, someone like Brady, who wants to stand up and say, no, it's my turn to help you, it, it puts us in a position that we're extraordinarily grateful. Ryan Dompier with the Whitehall Police Department says you don't often think about their canines, but they need each other to keep everyone safe. <laughs> These are our partners. They, they're more than a dog. They're more than... Um, you know, even a family member. I mean, they, they are with us 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And Brady says he has donated close to 400 vests for dogs all across the United States. He says he's going to keep trying to donate for more people, for more vests. Local for you, Kenny Ramirez, NBC4.